So I guess I must have been 15 or 16 when I started running in the woods and I remember that at least at two occasions I came back with uh, ticks on me and um, but um, it never occurred to me to get uh, tested for Lyme because um, I did not know about Lyme back then and um, so I never got tested and um, but shortly afterwards, in the, in the course of the following one or two years, I started developing um, really, really strange symptoms, mostly neurological symptoms like uh, anxiety. Um, I became very antisocial. I uh, developed symptoms which the best way to describe them is um, autistic. I could not relate to people, to their emotions. Um, I didn't understand what was going on uh, with them when they would talk to me. I would not uh, have the right answer. Uh, I w could not uh, make conversation with people. And um, up until then, I was an A plus student and the darling of uh, uh, of every teacher. But um, when I was 17, I the symptoms became so bad that I felt I could not I could not go to school anymore, and I dropped out of high school, and um, which absolutely devastated my my family. But um, so for the whole time, um, we were convinced that it was a, an emo emotional disorder. There was. Uh, something was wrong with me, that I was crazy or wacko. So my parents dragged me to psychotherapists, psychologists, psychoanalysts. I even admitted myself to a, a mental institution at some point. And um, we just did not know what, what was really going on and how to help me. And all the while, all the while everyone was thinking that there was nothing wrong with me because I looked perfectly healthy and apparently it was all in my head. And um, so finally my father, he found uh, a private um, institute which was dealing with anxiety disorders and those people diagnosed me for OCD. And so I got treated for OCD um, and it helped. It helped me to to cope with with the feeling of fear and anxiety. So I got that under under control basically. But some symptoms uh, never went away, like um, those strange feelings of pressure and pain behind my eyes, or the stiffness of my neck, or diff certain ticks um, in my hands. And um, and also I became more social, but still my behavior was was different. There was there was always a low level of anxiety always there. And then finally, when when I was twenty eight, I decided to get a um, vaccine shot against Lyme. Still, because still the whole time we we did not suspect that it was Lyme that I that caused all those strange symptoms. So I got got the shot and in the course of the following year or so um, the neurological symptoms became worse and the physical symptoms just escalated. I um, I developed severe arthritis in my knees, in my hips, in my elbows, in my hands, in my fingers the stiffness of my neck became worse and um, so that kind of uh, forced me to understand that uh, it was not a emotional problem that I was dealing with but there was a physical and um, so so I started I started uh, looking for what it was and I I did not know and um, but I understood there was something severely wrong with my with my health and with my body. So finally, in it was February or March of two thousand nine, 
uh, after consultation of two doctors uh, with two doctors, they told me that I had Lyme, and that I definitely got it um, from the vaccine, among others. And but I now understand that I must have also uh, gotten it from the from the ticks when I was fifteen or sixteen. So. Um, so when I found out that I had Lyme, after the, uh, the doctor told me that I had Lyme, I decided to go full-time with ozone, basically. Um, because I knew that ozone would kill any bacteria, and since uh, Lyme is a bacteria, it would eventually get to it too. So I started doing ozone on a daily basis, I would do either ozone sauna, so I would drink ozonated water, or I would do ozone IVs, I would administer them to myself, or I would do ozone ear insufflations, or vaginal insufflations, or rectal insufflations, or I would do a combination of some of those uh, applications. Um, but I would do it religiously every day. And um, I also had ozone shots directly into my knees and um, and slowly slowly um, the the layers of all the symptoms that had built up over uh, the last 20, 20 years or so they uh, disappeared and they got less and less and less and I started feeling better and better the anxiety went away the uh, um, the antisocial behavior went away, I became calmer, the hallucinations at night disappeared, um, the aches and pains went away, um, all my joint problems went away, I can now go to the gym and work out for 30-40 minutes on the elliptic machine and then go and do uh, 220 pounds on the, on the leg press or even more and there's no pain, nothing, and um, so so I feel great. I just feel like uh, I really feel like a million bucks, and um, and that's basically all I've done. Um, ozone, and um, I strong strongly recommend it to anyone. And uh, there was also a period of one or two months where I did uh, pulse magnetic uh, treatments, and they. Um, for, for that period that I did, they were amazing, they worked great, they um, helped me to get rid of the stiffness of my, of my joints and my um, uh, whole body, uh, they also helped me with migraines or with um, indigestion that I had, so yeah, but I did it only for like one or two months, and um, but mostly ozone. And um, so I did that for close to a year on a daily basis, and um, yeah, and I feel I feel great.